What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun one. We are gonna show you how we made one single Instagram post that gained us over 11,000 followers. Let me find this for you guys real quick, show you the insights, show you the stats, let you know we are not BSing around here and then we are gonna get into the tips, promotion insights. Let's scroll down, 11,050 five follows off of one post. Let's go ahead and break this down for you guys. So guys, welcome, and if you are new to the channel, my name is Weston Smith. My wife, Devin, and I frequently go out and do a lot of fishing and outdoor style content, but I always love throwing in the occasional social media growth strategies that has helped me grow to where we're at now, which is about 80,000 followers on Instagram in just over a year and a half, and closing in on 30,000 subscribers over here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for all the success, and I'd like to go ahead and now tell you what we have done to get these results man. So before we talk about how this one post gained so many followers, I need to tell you my general strategy for Instagram because it does play a role as to why I picked the certain post I chose to do a giveaway and put some money behind it in the form of a promotion or boosting your post to reach more people that I targeted and wanted to hit to get the results that this post got. So for me, I post three times a day. That might already sound like, oh my gosh, that's more than I can do, or maybe some of you are posting five times a day or more. All I'm getting at you guys, and this is Instagram specific, is that volume really matters. The quality of your posts matter as well, but the thing is, the quality is subjective, so you might as well just put out every picture you take and let the audience tell you what they like or do not like before judging it for yourself and not making that post at all. I see so many people who are afraid to start building their Instagram pages, YouTube, TikTok, etc., because they're afraid of judgment from other people that is not what you need to worry about in the slightest. You need to just go ahead and document your day-to-day, -day, post your stories, post your pictures, and start growing audience if you want to have some success. And what I'm talking about is, and not to brag, this is literally to show you what's possible. Our Instagram results have led to us receiving over $30,000 in free products based around mainly fishing stuff because that is what we post about, and then also creating an income of thousands of dollars just from these other companies that want us to represent their brands. And we are literally still a small page. I consider myself a small channel I consider myself. We're just scratching the surface of what type of income can be created with YouTube, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. Those I talk about the most because they're the ones I'm the most focused on. So I'm sure you're just ready for me to shut up and tell you how this one post gained so many followers, but all the prerequisites have to line up before you can make a post that's going to get you these types of results. So Along with posting a lot in consistency, guys, you just have to keep an active story. Make sure you've got a clean looking bio, provide value or entertainment in your posts, just reply to your comments and DMs when you still have a chance, and do all these things and they will compile to posts starting to gain you more followers, starting to get you more reach. That leads into where this post, I recommend you switch to a creator or a business account. That way you can run promotions and you can also see stats on your page. I go into my insights tab. I'm gonna actually put this on screen record so you guys can see this. Boom, screen record. So what I do is I click on the insights tab that you will have if you're a creator or a business account, right? Insights, it's loading, boom. Uh, you see my top posts for the week here. So this is gonna show you your posts that are performing the best. Now I go to see all. See all has now loaded and you can see my best performing posts. So I click on the post that out of nowhere has done so well for me and it is a picture of a rod and reel and some line in the grass, shot on my iPhone and I just did this goofy color edit where everything that was blue is now purple. I thought that that purplish pinkish color to contrast against the green is really eye catching. Those colors are supposed to contrast. Those colors are like opposites or whatever on the color scale. I don't even know what the deal is, but the fact is something about this color when it pops up in people's explore page, it went nuts. This picture, if I go to view insights, has uh, reached a quarter of a million people. It's made almost 400,000 impressions, and I got 600, and I got a text, and I got 600 follows off of that one post. But that's not all. What I did with this post is I decided to do a rod and reel giveaway. Giveaways are fantastic opportunities to actually give back to your followers that have done so much for you and it's gonna help your page grow in return. So what I did is I decided to make a giveaway using the top performing post and that is really the secret to this whole video. It is what made all the difference. It is why this post performed so well and why I encourage everybody to look at their insights tab and see which top performing post they should use for something like a giveaway or to put money behind to grow your page. So what you've all been waiting for is the actual post and how it gained 11,000 followers. So previous giveaways I've ran, you can see something like this video I did. Uh, you would think it's good to just post the product, right? I'm posting the product, I made it a video, I made it interactive. Here's another one here. I went ahead and I put uh, 
the, in, I put the requirements and everything in the photo. The reason why this one did not perform that good is because of all the text in the photo. You actually, when you promote a post that has a lot of text, it doesn't get the same amount of reach as if it had no text. So now, whenever I make a giveaway, I no longer put the words giveaway or try to have any text within the photo because that's gonna decrease its reach if you go to promote the post. And boosting a giveaway post is the best post to ever put money behind because one of the requirements to win that giveaway is to follow your account, so why would you not want to push that out to more people's feeds with a couple pennies. After the giveaway had tapered off, here is what really made the difference. It was gaining, it had gained about 6,000 followers and then it started to taper down to where I was getting my usual amount of followers per day. And I knew there was more potential with this giveaway, so that is when I decided to invest into that post, put some money behind it, help it reach more people, and maximize the results from this giveaway, knowing it's one of the best ones to put money behind of my entire Instagram posting career. So I put $225 behind it. I believe over the 4th of July weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. With those $225, it jumped up to 8,268 followers. So over 2,000 followers gained. And it's not buying followers. Some people will say that this is buying followers. You could put money behind a promotion and a promoted post and get zero results. You could do a bad promotion. You could promote a bad picture. It doesn't mean Instagram sucks or it means you suck. You gotta put money behind a good quality picture and the giveaway is the one to put it behind. So I put $225 behind it over that weekend. That helped it gain an additional 2,000 followers. And then after that, I said, there's more time. I had another week to run in the giveaway and I wanted to put more money behind it. And for some reason, I had this amount in my head of $1,000. I wanted to spend $1,000 on an Instagram post and see the results it could get. That is including the giveaway items because those costed a few hundred dollars. So aside from the giveaway items themselves and that first initial $225, drop your iPhone, why don't you? I spent an additional $600 to promote the post and make it go a little bit further. Now this $600, didn't go as far as I had hoped it would, but it did provide some excellent results that I wouldn't have seen if I hadn't made the investment. So let's see what we got here. So I've now clicked on insights for the total followers gained off this post, 11,055. So it gained an additional, you know, about 3,000 followers off of $600. Now, you might say that's not worth it, but for me, it was a chance I was willing to take. But with that extra $600 over two days, I had an estimated reach of 160 to 410,000 extra accounts. I did $300 a day over two days. I was just hoping to reach the maximum amount of people before the giveaway ended over the weekend, which is when more people are on their phones. So for me, that extra $600 was actually worth it. I wanted to spend $1,000, see how far it could go. I remember when Devin and I bought our first business, we spent tens of thousands of dollars to buy the place, and it had like $5,000 a month overhead just in rent and expenses, payroll, other things of that nature, right? A traditional business. I could look, and I think I'm probably approaching only $5,000 total spent over a year and a half to build my brand and essentially business on Instagram and YouTube, which is just insane to think. I think I should be spending more. With all that being said, y'all, I wish you the best in growing your Instagram and YouTube pages. If you're really trying to grow fast these days, the organic reach on Instagram is fading day by day. Less and less people are able to just start a page and grow as fast as they want. So you have to use things like giveaways and promoting posts to your advantage. It just allows you to get that extra reach you're not able to get when you're a smaller page. And for me, I started off with five or ten dollars behind these posts and I, and I just didn't know what I was doing. I had no guidance and I started making mistakes and then I dialed in my audience. I had figured out after a long time I shouldn't pick the post to promote. I should allow Instagram and you guys to pick the post for me. What do I mean? I mean go to the insights tab and you guys tell me which ones you want to see. All my top performing posts, I only promote the top two or three pictures. I'll just put money into those over and over and over again. If a post that you've made has seen excellent results, 10x results, 5x results, you need to put the money into that one and just help continue to push it out there because your fans are telling you they like that type of content. So don't just post a picture and say, I like this one. I'm going to put money behind it because I think it's going to do good. Know which post is going to do good. I knew that giveaway was going to perform because I didn't leave it up to chance. I posted literally my best performing picture I had ever made two and a half months prior as the giveaway post and that made all the difference along with helping it reach more people through a promotion. And so I encourage you guys to do the same if you're trying to grow your pages. It has literally led to so much for Devin and I. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and do that and hit notifications so you can see what we have to unbox, man. It is so thrilling. We actually have about $7,000 in free kayaks that just got sent to us 
because of our efforts here on YouTube and Instagram, we could not be more excited and I want the same for you guys too. I literally valet park cars on the weekends and I've just been doing Instagram and YouTube on the side. Since the pandemic started, I've taken the extra time I have to upload once per day on YouTube and I've stayed consistent with my three posts a day on Instagram and it can lead to some amazing results. Guys, let's step it up and have some fun in this together. We'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.